Hello guys, in today's video I'm going to be talking about grid lines and how to place them in Revit. Okay, so grid lines are basically imaginary lines placed on the drawings to help locate components of the drawings. It also helps you to in designing and making your work more organized and also helps designing a more stable structure. Okay, so in this video I'm going to show you guys how to basically place grid lines and edit them to some extent. Okay. So to place your grid lines, you go to this architecture bar. Under architecture bar, you go to the um, left side of the screen. Or, yeah, sorry, the right side of the screen. There you see this icon, grid line. So you just click it and draw your grid at the center of the walls, of the exterior walls. Okay? So this is grid one. You draw, so the grid will, like, if it's grid one now, if I continue placing grid, it will be going like that: grid one, grid two, grid three. And you see this, you see the difference when I change the grid to alphabet. That is A. It will start going from A, B, C, D. Now we have placed the fourth grid. Okay, so we are going to start placing the vertical grids. Okay, so we we'll start from this wall, and I'll change this one to A. Okay, sorry, let me on my caps lock A. Okay. We we'll go again and continue. You see, it has named this one B. So from there, we'll keep going. So we have successfully placed the grids. Okay, so now I've successfully placed the grids now. The next thing I'm going to do is to edit these grids. So you notice that the annotations on the grids are only showing on one end. So to make them sh make it show on the other end like a proper um, annotated floor plan would do, be. So we are just going to click on this grid and check this icon. Just check this box here. The same thing for this one. We'll check the box. The same thing for this one. We'll check the box, and we'll do that for the horizontal grids too. Okay. On doing that, we are now going to align these grids. To align the grids, you are going to zoom in and see this circle icon here. Then hold it, click on it, hold it, and drag it. So once it aligns with the other its contemporaries, we are now going to click it again and drag it, and all of them will come go out together. The same thing for this side. Okay. Okay, um, this view point we are going to hide it for now we don't need to, it it's obstructing the video so I'm just going to select all of them then right click and hide in view by category so the four elevation points will be hidden okay so now we have successfully um, created grids to just to add a little bit of graphics to them I'm going to override the graphics in view and make it lighter so to do that, I'm going to click on the grid, right click again, click on this override graphics in view by category, then check this half tone box and the grids become half tone and it's no more too imposing. Like that is how I personally prefer it to be. Okay, <clears throat> so we are now going to start editing this grid now. So to do that, we we'll click on the grid. We have options to select from this um, options you can select from these options although they are basically almost the same so to actually edit the size of this grid i'm going to go to family on this project browser go to annotation symbols okay so just to get remember the name of this particular grid we want to edit i'm just going to click on it edit 6.5 mm bubble grid 6.5 mm bubble okay so i'm not going to find it now at grid grid i think it should be somewhere okay so and now we have seen it anno grid head circle okay so i'm going to right click and click edit here is our grid so 
I'm not going to edit this grid. So first of all, I'm going to change the text, or sorry, the label text, and edit it. So I'm going to edit type and change it the text size to two millimeters, and change the text font to uh, let me just use elegant locks major text for um, font. So that's it and done. Okay, it's looking a bit too light, so I'm going to make it bold uh, by taking this bold I am um, box here. Okay, so I'm not going to reduce this grid circle. So I'm going to reduce it to three. Okay, then load it into the project. Do you want to save changes? Uh, this, if you save changes, it's going to override the uh, architectural template of this system, the grid, the grid in the architectural template. So I don't want that. So I'm just going to click no and override the existing version and its parameter values. I'm going to click it. So you see, the grid have reduced in size and now we have changed it. Okay. Remember, grids are always good. It helps in design. It helps give your work this kind of modular pattern. And it also helps align, make your design more mature and organized in the sense that your walls will be more aligned and it will be easier to construct. Okay. So thanks for watching. If you like, subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified when